You guys seem to really like the idea about bringing one gun to slay all the animals on one reserve. So we're back here on Quattro Colinas doing exactly that. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also give it a like if you want more of this style of videos. And for our Quattro Colinas adventures, we're actually going to be bringing out the Coachmate Lever 4570 rifle. And bringing the uh, 4570 to Quattro Colinas means that we're going to be able to take down pretty much all animals with the full integrity, except for the roe deer and uh, the hare. So we're going to go for a gold or better of each of the ones that we do have the integrity on. And honestly, this is going to be one of the ones that we're never going to get full integrity anyway. So uh, let's just ruin a road here with the 4570. No way that's going anywhere. The thing with the 4570, I compared this gun to what I used to know it from Classic Ass. Don't do that. It is nowhere near as powerful. However, it's still a pretty decent gun. It just does not have any kind of long range capability compared to a lot of the other 4 till 8, 4 till 9 level rifles. But first one out of the way is the Road Deer. Obviously, as I said, we did get no integrity for this, but um, this guy went sleeping real fast. We actually need those, but we do need a gold scoring one of those, and I do not see that. But I think that might be. Uh, I want to call it Winter. <laughs> However, the uh, fall. Oh, there we go. Oh, not sure, not sure, not sure. Might have to be uh, quick here with a follow-up shot. Is that the mythical? It is. Oh, I'm not gonna hit that. I am so not gonna hit that. I don't know. Nah. Pretty sure he is gonna survive but we did manage to pick up this thing right here which i do believe is called winter at least the fur color um i need to figure out where i hit the other one it is indeed a winter that looked kind of cool i actually want to save that let's get it to the lodge and the mythical definitely did not get shot anywhere near a vital that right there could potentially be a gold so let's see if we can manage to land a decent shot on that and I have no idea. I think he is bleeding out quite slow, but... I mean, he's at least bleeding out. So I suppose the only thing that we could have hit from this angle is going to be the lungs to take him down any kind of speed, right? So hopefully we have already crossed the red deer off the list, even though it's probably just going to be a small level 7. Oh, definitely did get a vital on this guy. I'm just so underwhelmed by the power of this gun, so it's I very rarely use it. I would love to know if any of you guys actually have incorporated this gun into any of your loadouts. Um, just the fact that you need a separate scope to use it, the Helios one, it just does not really make sense compared to so many of the other guns that you could be carrying. But right here, did we get a gold scoring? We did! Ah, actually by quite a bit, but... Um, only just got left long on the first shot oh my hey at least this is uh, supposed to be the hardest one of the animals to get down down here so uh, hopefully now it's all gonna be easy peasy it is the big weight so i do imagine that it is gonna be a gold one which wouldn't be too bad to get off the list as well and um, we're still in the drinking time of these guys they drink alongside with the red deer and the roe deer so if we can just get all of those crossed off the list immediately then uh, we can actually go and focus on the ibex and uh, still need to get the oh alert on 150 oh uh, we we do not need the stieg for this guys we need this one i actually do want to take a uh, broadside shot if i do get the chance <sighs> is that gonna work i don't know i'm just I'm just not confident enough in taking shots like this with it, even though... Ah, yeah, okay, that's gonna be good enough. That is gonna be good enough. It's a weird scope to use this one as well, but at least it's no longer tinted, because back when the gun came out, it was tinted for some reason. You could barely see anything with it. And high bleed rate. I am using the uh, high penetration rounds on this gun as well, of course. Actually looks to be a pretty nice mouflon. There we go. That's actually not too bad. Did make gold, so um, another one crossed off the list. Okay. Well, 
I think this might be the one place where this gun is just going to be superior to most of the other rifles. Just going to be able to take quick follow-up shots with this. And then the extremely fast reloading as well. Probably going to make it one of the best wave guns out there. However, am I getting surrounded here? I need to make sure to not damage the integrity of whatever potential goals we have. I, what is going on here? <laughs> I don't see any big wolves running off. But I see some Ronda Ibex who is very much in doubt with um, what they want to do with life right now. They're running back and forth right here. Okay, um, I'm going to take this guy out. There we go. But I have no idea if there is going to be any decent sized wolves in this. We need a gold one. That, and we need to not have hit it in the face, which might actually end up being a uh, real issue right here. Are you going to be gold? Uh, oh, hey. Doesn't matter. Okay, this is going to be a complete shooting gallery. Let's, let's just not worry about that and pick up our wolves right here. And that's a gold! Nice! So the Iberian Wolf has now been crossed off the list as well. Even without trying to um, do any kind of spotting or anything. Uh, that was a good one. I mean, it was probably going to be the one that I imagined would be pretty easy to do at some point. Because it was inevitable we would get attacked. So let's just see if the, the Ronda here... Ah, uh, not big enough. We need 91 for that thing. I'm not quite sure about the weight and not sure why it's nervous. Have a bad feeling that there could be some wolves over there, but maybe. Oh, that's hopefully be gonna be enough. Oh, that, that guy gotta be bigger. That guy's gotta be way bigger. That's a, a way higher estimate at least. Oh, not actually not. The weight is higher. So let's go with that. And we can actually get into about 160 here. So I suppose this would work. App, he dropped. Alrighty. Are we looking at a gold? We are. 97.1. The Ronda Ibex got taken out with a right lung heart, left lung shot. And 161. Oh my god, the drop on this gun though. Oh. They're drinking every... Oh, there we go. There, there we go. That's got to be our boy. And he's only 170 out. He's attentive. Oh, was that our boy? I don't know. This now is our boy. This is the one we need. I still do not have a diamond one of these, so... I need to not mess this up. I think we're good. It would have been a drop shot. I am never going to be able to hit anything that moves with this gun. But holy, I reloaded fast. That's a vital, very fresh. And um, yeah, this guy has to be a gold, right? 89. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. I... I, mean, I don't care. It wasn't a gold. I'll take this. I am thankful that I didn't mess that shot up with the uh, 4570. Holy smokes, guys. I can finally... I can, like, finally be one of the really big boys and have a diamond grand slam. Yes! <laughs> and it also just barely made it. My God. But I just don't know about the angle of... The we could do the 22 trick on this guy. And then uh, hopefully have him turn around. Come on. Give me the broad side. Gredos. That's not broadside, dude. Turn. Come on. Give it to me, Gredos. That's gonna work. What? 
He didn't flinch, but I think I hit him, right? He didn't flinch at all. What the hell? <laughs> what was that about? I think it must have been a vital, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dropped pretty fast and all, but to me, it really did not look like he flinched at all. Which um, seems to be quite a surprise, shooting with a gun with... The 4570 is a 4 till 9 weapon, if I'm not mistaken, so you can actually take down, like, bison and such with it too. Yeah. And then it's not even gonna be making this guy seem like we hit him. Oh, we hit him on... We didn't even hit him on the first one, we only hit him on the second one, but we did get a gold scoring one. So that is good. That leaves us now with the wild boar, the European hare, and the besieged. I really don't know if this is going to be a good idea. I have no idea what kind of bullet drop we're looking at on 300 meters with this gun. <laughs> hey, we hit him. It's not a vital. It wasn't a good idea, guys. Took a little bit of tracking to get this guy down, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have been a diamond, and uh, right now it's going to be a gold, but it's going to work. Look at that. Flesh. Oh my. I didn't even hit him. I didn't hit that. Look at that. Oh my god, I got scammed. Also, uh, don't take long shots with the... <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, 4570, it might end up costing you. But then we got a gold out of it. I mean, we just messed up the diamond. That guy right there has potential to be diamond as well. At least gonna try to uh, get a little closer and take him out. I think I can make this shot. 4570, 0150. Let's go. Big boom. Did I? Oh my god. You know what? I might have actually caught the spine on that. So maybe we did redeem ourselves, or maybe we messed up two diamonds in a row with the 4570. Ooh! Hey, get that in the large then. Two diamond! I bakes. This time, hopefully we're gonna have them broadside. And we will be able to penetrate, because we're not gonna be shooting on super far range. So let's just do this. Oh, wind is bad. Wind is really bad. Come on. Do I want to take that shot with him moving? I don't really, but... Ah, uh, we go. There we go. Ooh. So everything we need to find now is um, basically gonna be our hair. Let's see... Yeah! It basically looks like we just barely even got the penetration to hit that. But that was all the big ones. Now we need to go and find one of them small jumpy boys. And there we go. The one we need to end it all. Yeah, yeet! And uh, we got the rabbit out of the way as well. And here we go. There it is. The hair is now out of the way as well. But yeah, that turned out to be the 4570 challenge against the Quattro Colinas. And a big surprise to me, we actually managed to pick up two diamonds doing so. If you guys have any ideas what kind of challenges and such you want to see me do, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it as well. And um, yeah, then I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so very much for watching.